What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and my 30 orbs did not go to waste. I went ahead and created a Vath deck for Magmar. So this is a control deck. doesn't have a lot of presence in the early game in the form of minions, but certainly all the removal uh, lets it get towards the late game where it excels. So now I am proud to be able to give you guys uh, matches with all but two of the factions, just Songhai and Abyssian, um, I'm not into yet, which is really because they are very expensive and their decks use a lot of epics and legendaries. So um, that'll be next when I have another bunch of orbs to open. But I uh, am rank two now, uh, so it's been going decently. Um, pretty early in the season, already ranked two. Of course, I aim to climb S rank again this season. Hopefully, fare better than last season where I topped at 12 and then fell from there. Hopefully, this time I have more of a upward um, rating increase uh, rather than last season um, when I got to S rank. But that's going to need concentration because I've had a lot of losses this weekend where I just wasn't concentrating or I... Um, which is surrendering early when something didn't go my way. And it's actually taking a while to find a match here. Uh, over the weekend I did play in two tournaments. I played in Dawn of the Duelists on Friday, the fifth cup, which I know I'm getting into a little late, but it was still uh, cool to join. I don't know what sort of place here. Definitely this, I don't need this yet. I want to keep the natural selection because I'm probably not going to play the first unit. Earth Sister? Saber Spine? I'll get rid of the Saber Spine. Keep my two sisters. So that means I don't have a play next turn. Which is not a huge deal for a control deck. I mean, I would like to play it though because then I'm just like. I'm banking on uh, me drawing something very least like a uh, the very least a flash reincarnation so I can at least do something with the board get rid of the oh, I'm going second you see it got me confused there were magmars on both sides there are bath on both sides so I thought I was going first so now I kind of wish I had that um, that you know that saber sign tiger depending on what he plays right now Flame Bud Warlock. So he's playing Aggro Bath. Okay. In that case, I um, think I'm going to have to hit power with power. I don't think I'm going to have a chance to pull off this uh, Sworn Sister early on. So I'll just go ahead and natural selection that so he can't get the um, Mana Orb. And I, well, look at that, I get the sister right back. So this coming turn I can play an earth sister, which trades very well with anything. Yeah, so back talking about, so the tournaments, I actually won, I think I moved on with one of the rounds from the Dawn of the Dula, so I was able to beat Zowie there. And I was able to earn two, uh, two spirit orbs, so that wasn't too bad. And then... On Sunday, I played for Team Work and Team Moors. Um, both these tournaments I'm joining kind of late, but that's just because this is when I'm getting to the tournament scene, so I'll have to uh, wait for the next seasons of these things to really get into it, but it's nice to help a Team Moors team midway through. He's an aggro deck. Um, maybe I should keep the Metamorphosis then. Nah, I like the cards in hand though. So he kind of, uh, I mean, I guess that was an okay play I had last turn. It weakens my general as he is an aggro deck, but I have clear control of the board. Plasma Storm, good removal. Um, really want to top deck one of my Earth Spheres, which lets this deck last long. Because Repulsor Beast. I'm getting kind of worried now. Overload. I 
Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the plasma storm because I have this here. I'm gonna play something else that has less than that attack. Spirit Harvester. Okay, I'll probably, I think I'll play the Spirit Harvester this turn. So let's move in. Um, no, why would I play the Spirit Harvester? That wouldn't really help me. Uh, I'm just gonna have to play another Taygate, I guess. It's gonna be hard for me to get run away from him without like provokes like I do in Lion Rock. So I'm just gonna have to hope that he doesn't uh, come up with lethal in the next turn or two. And I really need to find Earth Spheres, which I seem to have more than enough of in other matches, but I need to top deck a couple here. Could have played the Sworn Scissor Lakian instead to try to find the Earth, Earth Spheres quicker, but then I would be wasting a card this turn because I would have a full action bar and I try to draw a card and lose it. Elucidator is going to hit him, deal more damage to me, and this is bad. Not a lot I can do, I don't have any provoke. Uh oh. Um. I actually, do I have lethal? Wait, do I have lethal guys? I might actually have lethal here. So if I move this down, hit the elucidator, it would deal five damage all around, right? Never mind, I'd deal damage to this. So I deal six damage plus six is twelve. Yeah, I win the game with my Earth Sisters this turn. I wonder if he noticed that that could happen. Hmm. Um make sure I can win but I think this is pretty easy to win this so I just attack attack and finish it off with this uh, tiger so yeah the Mac and the tiger or anything like that would win the game for me that turn I think he forgot how much damage those uh, Sworn Sister um, or Earth Sister Tay Gates can deal in one hit because of their ability. Great card, probably the best sister. And this is a control deck, so I thought I was only going to fit one match in this video, but that was <laughs> the control deck played like an aggro deck that time. So we'll try to fit another game in here. I actually tried to record this video like four or five times. Um, because it kept on glitching out where it'd find a match and then it wouldn't join forever and exit out and I reloaded it, it said game in progress, join, and then it just says uh, reconstructing the battle forever. And it doesn't actually take away a win for you, and it doesn't actually take away one of those orbs or whatever you call them, chevrons and ranked. So it's not a huge deal, but it does, it's really annoying and it's been happening a lot today. And I really hope it doesn't happen right here. Please join the game. Yes. Okay, it looks like the issue might be fixed. Um, there's my Earth Seer, but... Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the... Early Earth Sphere. Really want to find a Spirit Harvester. That's like the card against um, Swarm Vizian. The card. Gloom Chaser. Minions will probably be weak. I don't need this metamorphosis right now. I mean, Repulsor Piece probably doesn't matter either. I'll get rid of this right now, though. Egg Morph. Those are more for bigger minions. Hmm. Don't love the spot I'm in right now. But would love to top like a Spirit Harvester soon. I'm not well or or a plasma storm. Spirit harvester and plasma storm are the things that I want to top deck. Like these egg morphs and like 
Repulsor Beasts are when there's bigger threats, but a lot of little, little threats are hard for me to deal with without those cards in my hand. So this is a good matchup for, uh, I think, my deck because of I have Plaza Storm and, and whatever else in this deck, but besides that, it's tough. Okay, I assume he's a Blood Tear Alchemist maybe to get rid of the egg because I don't know why else he'd be attacking it. Yep, Blood Tear Alchemist. And Deal Toss. Okay, well there's something I can actually egg morph, so. Now, at least I have a play this turn. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Repulsor Beast. I guess I'm just going to egg morph. And I'm gonna run away, kind of. Earth Sister Taygate, which combined with Flash Reincarnation can deal a bunch of damage to a bunch of enemies. Still looking for Plasma Storms or Spirit Harvester, though. Blood Moon Priest. There's something I might just Saber Spine Tiger. Hopefully, um, from the death of the Blood Tear Optimist. Oh, he didn't attack there. Okay, then. Um, I'll get rid of the Metamorphosis. Sworn Sister. Can't play that this turn, so I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to get rid of this Blood Moon Priest with a Saber Sign Tiger. Probably the best play there. And I can overload my general. Kind of run away, not really. I'm not going to bother hitting these little things. If they can hit me if he wants, and... I'm not going to go face because I'm the control deck. I know I have more attack on my general than him, but without any uh, Earth Spheres in my hand, I'm going to play this very conservatively. Black Solus and Shadow Spawn. Okay, so I guess it was good that I kept these uh, Egg Morphs. I'll go ahead and get rid of that then. And you know, Magenter War Beast. I should keep that, that's gonna be good. I'm not sure what I should replace here. I gotta replace to try to find Spirit Harvester. But maybe I should just play the Flash Reincarnation now with Sworn Sister to replenish my hand. That's only going to cost two. And then I can play the Egg Morph. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so. Flash Reincarnation. Then I'll play the Sworn Sister. This is like not getting full value out of the Sworn Sister, but. What can you do, right? Phalanxar. And another Flash Reincarnation. I don't need the Phalanxar. Okay, and now I just Egg Morph this. I'll separate myself from the sisters so he can uh, go over there and attack that while I get away. <laughs> and here we are. So essentially what happened there with the Flash Reincarnation and the Sister, I just got a free two, too. Okay, that's where I get scared of things. That thing's going to be huge. How many things are dying? One, two, three, four things are dying this turn, which means he's going to get plus eight, eight. And I need Earth Spheres. Oof. Or some way to kill that. Because I don't have any provoke or anything. 
Um, I have two double. I have two saber. No, saber signs won't work because I don't have enough attack at one of them. Well, crap. Um, gonna get rid of. I wish I had my third thing here. Um, saber spine, saber spine. Gonna have to. I'll get rid of the. Or can I kill it with a flash reincarnation Earth Sister Tay Gate? Then it would, that would cost. No, I couldn't. I don't have enough mana for that. Okay, let's get rid of one of the tigers. Don't see what else I should do here. Well, that's not good. Um, I don't want to hit that. I don't want to let it hit me. I guess I'm just going to run away and hope to God that there's no way for him to get around my little blockade here. Ouch. There's an Earth Sphere. Okay, let's survive this turn, please. Really, anything can he win this game with. If he has, like, a. If he's able to destroy, uh, like, the Earth Sister this turn, he'll win the game. Because the thing gets bigger and hits me. If not, I'm still alive, he's, like, I can play an Earth Sphere. It look, doesn't look like he has to win this turn. In which case... Is he just going to trade there? Why do you do that? If that trades with anything. Because it will deal all that damage back. That may have been a mistake on his part. I'm not sure if he knew exactly the ability of that. Hmm. Okay, well he's going to sit in the corner there. And then I'm going to like kind of try to build my forces. Uh... I have enough mana now, I don't really need Flash Reincarnation. Okay. I guess I'm gonna... Earth Sphere. Okay. And I don't really want to get in his zone. Because he's just gonna spawn more Wraithlings. I'm just gonna stay out of where he can deal damage to me. Yeah, I'm just going to stay away until uh, until the coast is clear. <laughs> until I'm able to destroy this Blood Moon Priest and other stuff. It's another Earth Sphere. Still looking for a uh, Plasma Storm. Plasma Storm is what I need now. Spectral Revenants. Okay. So at least that does trade. He is able to deal a lot of damage to that, but it did use one of his Spectral Revenants and it didn't really accomplish a whole lot because I can just heal up. Shadow Spawn. Now, can I get in there and hit that? If I move up to, yes I can, I can hit, yeah I can hit the Blood Moon Priest with a Macintosh War piece, War Beast, or I can hit it with a Saber Sonic Tiger. What to do, what to do, let's get rid of the Saber Spine here, as cool as it is. Oh, but then what if I top deck a spirit heart? So that'd be the perfect combo play. Um, I guess the uh, saber sign is gonna this, this Magnetar War Beast is gonna go. Yes, perfect! What an amazing top deck. That was actually amazing. Oh my god, I am I can't get over how great this is. Perfect. I'm going to clear the board.
I clear his board. And then I'll just play this. I'm actually gonna hide this back here so he can't like rush. He can't rush in with a spectral revenant or anything. Because that nullifies his bloodborne spell right there. The spirit harvester. He needs to be able to just destroy it. Huge turn. And we're not playing Kisava anymore. Black Solus scares me. We're not playing Kisava anymore. So. Solithar Elder. Can actually work, but then. No, wait, never mind. The Spirit Harvest is destroying its eggs, anyways. So. Scratch that. Um. I could just play it anyways, just as a big body. I guess there's nothing better to play. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and play it. This is not gonna be able to. There's nothing he's gonna be able to do to get closer to me. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and play the Solar Elder. See if I get lucky and I'm able to get in there. So I'll just play it. Overload. And. I want to move a little bit away because I don't want a special revenant hitting me in the face. Not exactly the face, but. Yeah. Alright, there's a plasma storm, but don't really need it anymore with a spirit harvester. Are we just gonna trade huge guys there? I wouldn't mind that. That's actually what I put them there to do. Trade. Interesting game. Okay, they are gonna trade. Fine. Um, fortunately, the egg does not hatch until the end of my turn, where this is gonna be. Or, I could sacrifice a spirit harvester here, so I can have this thing sur survive. That's a tough choice. Do I want to do that? First of all, I have a tough replace here because plasma storm. I think I need this more. I really have to be careful with my general. Metamorphosis. Okay, well. Let's, uh. If this trades with that. I could metamorphosis this turn. Then that would just die. Tough, tough choice there. Um, I should probably save that for like spectral revenant and stuff like that, though. Um, yeah, let's metamorphosis. And now I'm gonna come up here with my general. Oh, well, I guess everything's gonna be kind of dying. Okay, interesting game now. I've nullified the Wraithlings, that's for sure. I guess it's time for me to just walk up with my general. Because it has a massive attack. Okay, finally he's able to destroy that. Which really scares me. Now I wish I had that uh that big thing back. Get rid of the Kahada Egg Morph. I'm gonna save that egg morph. I'm gonna have Earth Sphere. 
overload and just hit the Shira Puppy Dragon. Okay, save that Earth Egg more for a big threat he might play, like a Vorpal Reaper or something like that. And then I get a little guy, and there's a Plasma Storm, so I can actually clear his board of Wraithings if he decides to throw a bunch on the board right now. Would love to draw a Sworn Sister Lakian to replenish my hand. We're both at only two cards in hand, so I'm not too worried. Um, Vorpal Reaper, yes, okay. Easy choice here now. I'm just gonna go both of these now. I'll do the Egg Morph, and then I'll Plasma Storm. And hit this for a whopping nine damage. Okay. So oh, I can't play this now, so it'll be eight damage. I hope this is the right play. I'm being a little too aggressive here, possibly. <laughs> Guess it's okay. Move here so the egg spawns there. Plasma Storm. Okay, I get the egg there. And now he's kind of cornered. And I am top decking. Flash Reincarnation is going to be replaced. He doesn't. I don't think he has provoked in his deck. That's kind of good. Wraithling Swarm. Well, let's top deck another Spirit Harvester. And Blood Moon Priest. Eek. It's not the best for me. McIntyre War Beast. It's actually really close to the game, but not quite because he's protecting his general. He has four attack from the Macintor plus my nine attack general would deal enough damage, but there's just not, not a place for me to hit him. <laughs> my generals move back when I could do it. Actually, no, because then this would just. No, I could do it. I hope I'm not missing lethal. Um. In that case, I'll just have to use my Macintor over here. And I'll hit you for a nine. Okay, so he only has one card in hand. Um, I basically the thing that could the only thing that maybe could win in this game is if he has another one of those like death watch things or one of his wraithlings that become giant and hit me but it's not a huge amount of things on the board I think I'm gonna be okay and he's he's playing one card in hand right now worst case scenario he has one of his huge sex drops Larval Reapers or Spectral Revenant in which case I might still be able to deal with that I'm not sure game should be over quickly Oh, yep, he's just gonna surrender. Well played. So I guess it was fine that I was a little aggressive there. If I didn't top deck my back it could have been bad though, so who knows. So yeah, glad I gave, gave you guys some Magmar footage. So like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist, everybody.